yet it's looking good. Hey guys, welcome back to another Southern Haze NZ adventure. Today out for a solo mission off the rocks and trying to just get a feed of fish completely out in the freezer so anything's uh, open game, preferably butterfish but if there's some nice blue mochi around then won't say no. Just looking for a good spot here to drop down for the first dive. Definitely a warm up. Uh, last time, if you'd watched my last video, I had real trouble with my ears, so I sort of just get down here and get a bit of a feel for it. My ears are equalizing good and have a quick look around and back to the surface. Come across some nice big boulders here that look like crayfish country so drop spear down to mark the spot and drop down to have a look. It was about now I actually noticed the uh, crayfish shells just lying around everywhere. Really cool and interesting to see. So every year the crayfish shed their shell and uh, have a brand new one underneath this layer ready for the next season and it takes a while to harden so I'm expecting to see a lot of soft crayfish around and might have to work hard to find some hard shelled ones to take home. But I'm sure the crayfish numbers are good here so we shouldn't have too much trouble. All these shells around I'm just going to spend a bit of time here checking that the owners of the shells aren't too far away but uh, as you'll see everything around here is actually empty and it looks like an area they've just come to shed so I have a good look around and then uh, move on Again, some more really likely looking country. Nice big boulders, big cracks, big holes. It's looking promising. Don't muck around and head down for a look. Initially didn't see anything but just here in front of me at last glance seen some feelers sticking out. I'm really hoping they're feelers of some alive craze so <laughs> have another breathe up and back down. Definitely alive and still alive. <laughs> I missed those crays and for some reason the GoPro had a spaz so the footage of that clip was cut short but doesn't take long and we're back into some more action.
So I spot that Cray and then do something stupid and take my eyes off him. Actually turn around and look elsewhere and when I drop back down you'll see I completely miss him and then don't end up finding him again. <laughs> Lesson learned, don't take your eyes off the prize. Not sure what these are called, but I've seen them on a few dive videos and more experienced divers might be able to name them. If you can, leave a comment in the comments. I'd like to know, that'd be cool. Dropping down again. Nice, big, deep cave. And it is loaded with craze. Quick grab on one. Go for a double. I did have the second one, but let it go straight away because it was soft. But we're on the board. Absolutely wrapped. Things just got better and better. Poked my head round to the right here under this big rock. I can see feelers everywhere. So head back to the surface for a breather. Pretty much as soon as I surface here, I look back at my gun and I can actually see a crayfish right beside my gun. Can't work out whether it's a dead shell or alive. So uh, have a bit of a breath and straight down on it for a look. Definitely alive, great sized crayfish. Just coming up and I see his, a couple of his mates hanging out in the crack right beside him. So have another breath and back down and try and have a go at them. Well, got him, but he was soft as, so just let it go straight away. Head back, put this one in the catch bag, and have a look under that big boulder and see what's about. Beautiful sized crayfish. No eggs. Happy days. And just a couple of wee fellas, both these guys would be legal, but just decide to have a wee play with them and leave them be.
just moving on here and the spear gun's stuck in the rock so head down to get it out and get it free and I dropped it on top of a crack of craze without even knowing. First one I grab soft. Second one I grab also soft. So I grab the spear gun and move on. Very cool to see such healthy numbers of craze. Been an amazing dive so far. Couple more drops, but I'm starting to make my way back now and uh, move my focus to the fish. It's been a great dive on the craze, so if we can get a couple of fish and power, that would really top it off. Awesome little wee spot here, heaps of cracks, and sure enough, craze everywhere. Grab this fella. Look for the biggest out of the rest of them hiding in this crack, and grab another one. Immediately I can feel one of them soft, so as soon as I can get to the surface, let him go. But one out of two, not bad. And final drop for a cray. This spot right here, I have pulled probably eight or nine crays out of here always holds one if not two again today another one but instantly I can feel this fella's soft so let him go try and direct him into his hole leave him be right in a wee shallow bay here no deeper than a meter and a half and as soon as I got in here there was just butterfish everywhere so load up and get ready I think my favourite thing about spearfishing is being able to be selective. All these butterfish in front of me just out of view and they're all of probably 25-30 centimetres, not quite legal size. So just looking around until I find a nice big fat one and line up, take a shot. Absolutely stoked. Ended up getting two of these nice fat butterfish, but the uh, SD card on the GoPro ended up being full because I hadn't cleared some hunting footage off there, so that was my fault. Need to get some bigger SD cards. Anyway, grab the feed of power. Just go to uh, grab my power knife out of the bag. It slipped out of a hole, so can't measure these fellas. They all look really good size, so pretty sure they're all legal, measure them back and get onto the rocks. All in all was an amazing dive, absolutely stoked made the effort to get out. Little did I know there was more to come.
a while back in now. Another wee epic dive. I just needed to jump straight on the camera while it was fresh and just recap what just, what just happened. Um, had a really good dive. Got some awesome craze. I was quite surprised, there's heaps of shells. Um, craze shedding their shells, you'll see in the videos. Shells were everywhere. And um, managed to find a good amount of um, hard crayfish. I think I got four. I could have got more, but I really wanted some fish, so I started putting more effort into fine fish and um, ended up getting a couple of good butters. Grabbed some power, and then the SD card on my GoPro was full, so it usually means I've been in the water for an hour because I just record the whole time. And um, come back here into the shallows um, where I get in and out, and it's not deeper than one and a half metres all through here, and I'm just cruising through. <laughs> Just have another look, see if I can find some more power. And I put my head up and I thought it was a big blue mochi. So raised the spear gun up, pointing straight at him. And then realised it was the head of a seven giller. And a, f a very big seven giller. <laughs> very, very big. I've seen a seven giller in this spot before. And um, it was small. And that was my first shark I'd ever seen. And this thing absolutely dwarfed it. <laughs> it come straight for me head on and got to within about a metre, right, sitting right in front of me, and then he just turned sideways, sat right beside me, and I just had the spear gun pointed at him. But it was weird, I felt real comfortable. Um, yeah, he was just giant, big, placid beast. Placid at the moment, but it was, it was wicked. <laughs> it was absolutely wicked. Oh, I still can't get my head around it. Um, and after that, Straight away I went to turn the GoPro on and I'm going to have to wait till I get home but I'm pretty sure I didn't get any footage because the SD card was full. I thought there was the battery that was dead but it was the SD card full. So anyway, tried to film him a couple times and um, he ended up just stopping dead still in the water just looking at me in my catch bag. Like, it was like there was no swell, no waves, no current. He just sat <laughs> dead still right beside me it was absolutely massive easy three meters just oh it was wicked <laughs> it was freaking one of the most amazing experiences i've ever had he was awesome the hit on him oh i don't know it would have been 40 centimeters wide i reckon if not more the width of his head and then his body was huge tail was huge big long tail oh i've seen plenty come off the waikawa harbour wharf fishing and that but this was massive. <laughs> Show you the catch actually while we're while we're at it. I was going to get dressed, but I might as well have a look now. <laughs> oh man, I'm still shaking. Woo! It's what you live for. Moments like that. Things that people people will talk about their whole lives, but will never get the chance to see something like that. And it was just like seeing a prehistoric dinosaur in the flesh. <laughs> Oh man, well, at least I got back with all my cats, let's have a look. I'll well, make this reasonably quick, sand flies are already coming in hot. Feet of power, five, definitely could have got as many as I wanted but that's enough for a feed. One nice cray, nice female. Right. Number two. Three. Another nice one. All really good sizes. Heaps of small ones out there, which was awesome to see. Another good size. Beautiful. <laughs> Fat butterfish and number two, perfect, absolutely beautiful. There we have it beautiful feet of power, butterfish craze. Did have five power, chucked a couple back because they weren't of size.
So Tonka all loaded up. Time to pack on out of here. Get home for tea. How epic is that? It's a pretty awesome backyard. It's getting hot. No wind in here. Not far from the car now. Looking forward to a drink. That feels good. <laughs> Time to get the seafood on ice. <laughs> 